what's up everybody um we have just finished uh, the last of the list race for the season uh for those who keep up with the channel you already know that but um we just finished the season of uh list racing it was uh, pretty much everybody on the list first time doing it maybe 95 percent doing any type of drag and period so it was a lot of learning to happen this uh season so i'm gonna give some shout outs to those guys that you know was like stand out and most improved and all that soon but tonight what i'm gonna touch on is something i thought about i get a lot of questions because uh, a lot of people come across and meet me and get my number and they start asking different rc questions so I was like, you know, why don't I just, just answer some of those questions on video? So if y'all don't mind, ride with me. Let's see what we got. Okay, these three questions came from someone. I'm gonna keep them anonymous, but uh, they asked me these three questions, actually. <clears throat> the first of the three was between the infraction and felony what would be the best car for him to buy or anyone okay in my opinion that would decide would be decided by what you are doing with your car if you are drag racing i'm gonna say the felony and i'll explain why if you're drag racing i say the felony if you are just wanting a bash or speed run, the infraction. Um, one reason, if you want a speed run, you need the infraction because you can use the same size tires all the way around and you don't have to worry about anything happening with your diffs, uh, any type of trouble like that because it's set up for equal tires all the way around. But the felony is geared to have a taller tire in the back. Listen to what I'm saying. Taller tire in the back. Not, it doesn't have to be wider, but it does need to be taller, okay, than the front tire. So, in the drag world, if you are dragging, that was one of the reasons I say the felony. For one, uh, most dragsters are set up to be lower in the front, higher in the back, and normally run a smaller tire in the front, bigger tire in the back. That all has to do with the way the car is set up for transfer of power to the ground with the wind, drag, and all that good old fashioned stuff. But anyway, that's my answer. And for me, my choice would be the felony because of course I drag. So. There you go, there's my answer on that. Okay, now, the next one of the three was, if he decides, or anyone decides to get a felony, um, is the tires an issue? Okay, it depends how much you wanna stick to the rules, how much you wanna break the rules as far as what they tell you what to do with your tires. Um, on the back of this felony right here, I have foams in the back and I have rubber in the front. You know what I'm saying? So, but the tire in front is a smaller tire than, and it's taller in the back. So I'm still keeping up with my ratio pretty much, but I'm doing it in my own way. That's why I say everybody gonna have their own recipe on how they are gonna do what they do. As far as the tires go, if you want to drag, you're not going to run those homes that come on them anyway. So, um, I haven't had any problems getting phones. I hadn't had any problems getting GRPs. Um, I'm about to try and get a, a set of those Hobby Wing, uh, or is it Power Hobby tires where uh, they have that gold rim. They are a nice looking tire. But, um, my answer as far as if you're drag racing, no, the tires aren't hard to get. And pretty much the hooms aren't, haven't been hard to get, at least for my area. <clears throat> okay, so now the third and last question. Is the handbrake hard to delete or get rid of? 
No, actually it's not. Um, it's pretty easy to disassemble um, if you want to just take it completely out. Um, I don't know what your reasoning, reasoning is for taking it out, but um, I took mine out of my infraction because I ended up using the servo in something else and I wasn't using the handbrake. So I did disassemble it and take it out because I drag race and I don't want to put any flat spots in my tire. So I just completely got rid of my um, handbrake. So to answer that, no, it's not hard to uh, delete, uh, take out. Basically, you can get, take it, remove it from your car with the tools that come in the box. You don't even have to have anything special. All right, so those are my uh, Q and A's for the day or uh, tonight. I hope I helped somebody. If not, if you're hung, thank you for hanging. And if you hadn't subscribed, hit the thumbs up, that like, that share, make a comment, you know the game. All right, so y'all know my slogan. I wanna never quit, so I can't stop. And don't get mad, just get faster. All right, y'all, till next time, peace. What um motor is that? Is that a uh? It's a brush. Uh...